bad. The second half way too advanced. I'm ready. We're down about 3k. There's no way out. I won. Now you doesn't deserve any applause. Day two of the main event. Preparation. Nervous. Repping the Gold Coast Suns again. I'm fucking nervous. I'm fucking nervous again, man. But we'll stay calm. We woke up early. We're ready. We're late. We missed a couple hands. We Googled our table. We have Antoine Winfield, NFL cornerback, who the Jets almost signed, I remember. Then a bunch of other people who look great, like, as far as being bad. Or, I mean, I'm not that cocky, but, like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm, I'm just Ooh. very comfortable. I have a game plan similar to day one. We're up in the Gold Coast Suns. I tried to rep Satan with the pentagram tattoo. I put it on wrong. That's it. We made it. Hi, table. Love. Claire. Hi, all. All right, we're here. Somehow not late by the power of something. All right, we're underway. I'll be back with good news. But if it's not good news, I'm not going to freak out. With 16 WSOP bracelets, six more than anyone else, here's your 1989 world champion, Mr. Phil Hellview. Uh, neutral, neutral, neutral response. Uh, we know of him. I don't know if we want to cheer. We're like, uh, he's cool, I guess. I can't even see my card. We started with 188.8. After two hours, we have 188.7. We've lost 100 chips in two hours. And that could just be due to leakage. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you some hands in a sec. All right, so it's the first break. We played whatever, at two hours. We started the day with 188. Now we have 188K700. We've gone up and down in the hijack at 400, 800 with an 800 big by nanny. We open ace five of spades to 1700. Cut off calls and the button three bets to 6300. And he had me getting after it a little bit. And uh, day one, I wouldn't do this, but now I, I decided it was a good time to four bet bluff. So we make it 14 and a half thousand uh, fold for it. So that was a nice pickup. We're back at what we started with a little bit. Then another hand, uh, we had pocket the jet, pocket the jet. Pocket the jet. <laughs> Put them in your pocket and run the fuck away. <laughs> Under the gun opens, 1700. Low jack flats. We're in the hijack with pocket jacks. We make it. 8,000. Under the gun folds, my buddy calls in the low jacks. We're heads up to a flop with a lot in there. And it comes ace, seven, two, all clubs. We have pocket jacks. I think with the jack of clubs, we didn't want to double check. Checks, we bet 6K and we win. They're trying to, they're trying to kick us out. But they don't fucking blog him, bro. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, we deserve this. We deserve to lose this pot because we're idiots and deviated from our game. We open eight, six of spades from early position and both blinds call. And it comes king, four, deuce, one spade, two clubs. And we have eight, six of, club, uh, of spades. It goes check, check, we got 2K. Small blind, Antoine Winfield, NFL player, folds. Big blind calls, turn comes three of spades. So now we have a flush draw and uh, fucking gut shot to not straight, blah, 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 blah. He checks and we're like, yo, let's bet big. Let's fucking get this guy off his shit. I don't know what shit. Maybe he has a club draw. I don't know. We got a lot out, so. Where is the black equity buff? What's going on? Checks, we bet 7k. He calls. Then the river is like pretty the worst card. It's a four of clubs, which is like, brings in the front door flush draw, which he has a lot of. Whatever. He, he leads whatever amount. We just snap both. And so yeah, that's basically the main story of how we ended up back at even after losing 100 chips. And now we're coming back to 501k with 188k. So. Fuck your mom. Parkour. Oh. Let's fucking go. How are we not going to win right now then? How do we not win? Oh, sick. There's no shot we don't fucking win right now. 188 1. So we've been at the same the same stack all day. All day. About to do this interview. Oh, wow. uh, break, and we're lucky enough to have Phil Helmuth, who's already busted all the cameras. Queen 10, honey. We're at 188, where well, we started the day. We have Poppy Kings. We open early position 2100. Late position calls. Club comes 843 rainbow. Check, he bets 2500. We raise 7000. <laughs> Three bets to 16K. Turn comes like us. Eight, uh, seven of hearts. Check, check. River, queen of hearts. Check. And he checks back a set of threes. He could have got more money out of it. Then one more hand, Phil I'm Sorry, I know you don't have a lot of time. Really say, honestly, I don't have any regrets. We did a crazy ass bluff, jack nine off on the button. We opened 2100. Button calls. Pop comes queen four two, two diamonds. We have a jack of diamonds. Check, we bet 1600. He calls. Turn is a six of spades, so it's a three tone board. Check, check. River seven of spades. He bet 6K, and I'm looking at him, and he's nervous looking, panting. There's some live reach shit. I make it 15K, and he folds. So we're, we're back at even starting stack. It's like two and a half hours in, three, five hours in. Fucking stupid. Where we bagged 188 coming into today, we've just been up and down all around 188. Now we have 189 and a half. It's been fine, the table's good, no one's really splashing, but we've just been cruising. But we have like exactly what we started the day with. A little bit up, a little bit down, just trying to play well. Look at that guy. That guy is a piece of shit. Bill Smith, you see Bill Smith? I fucked his wife three times. <laughs> Cool. 
get two dollars yet? The last time I saw you guys, I was telling you how I fucked uh, Bill Smith's wife and we were floating around 190k. Then we get in a big hand. We have king five of hearts and we get a little saucy raising under the gun to 2500. We're four ways to a flop. Our comes jack eight, four, hard heart, whatever. It checks around. Then we turn, boom, bang the flush, seven of hearts. Checks, checks to me. We bet 4,500 into whatever it is, 11K pot. Fold, small blind jams for like 22K. Then the big blind re-jams for 50K, and we call. And we're up against ace of hearts with the jack, like top pair with ace of hearts, and pocket fours, so he's drawing to a boat. I had 66%, I looked it up, and then they fucked me. They, they fucked me, the river was a seven. They didn't fuck me, it's all good. I lost a big hand. It's not a big deal, but I have all these chips for to lose. Then I'm going to dinner break, I still have a million bigs. So I'm we're good. Right, 129.5. At dinner break. After Lucy, a big one. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're on break. Rob and I are both detailing because we both lost these massive uh, 20s percents. He lost a bigger one than me, yes. But he's also better at poker than me, yes. He also has more chips than me, yes. He has more chips than he started the day with, yes. He has definitely way more than average, yes. And he is Rob fucking Coon. And the winner is... Yeah! <laughs> And I'm gonna be fine. I have 130K. We're gonna eat some Italian food, the food of my people. Yo, so this guy is apparently how old? 51 in this photo? That's what poker will do to you. Look at this fucking guy. That's a warning. Don't just be a pro poker player. That's crazy. Even if it's not true, that's a crazy fact. <laughs> Back from dinner with 129,000 chips. Blinds are 1K, 1500. When we have uh, Ace Queen off. As the monorail comes by. From under the gun plus one, we raise to 3,000. Small blind call and the big blind call. So we're three ways to a flop. It comes nine, seven, four, rainbow, spade, heart, club. It, this won't matter too much, but stick with me. It checks around. We decide to check back with our overs. We have equity. The turn comes to two of spades, bringing it back to our flush draw that we don't have. We have the queen of spades, whatever. The small blind leads 6K, which is pretty big. Big blind folds, and we decide to call, which I may be getting a little saucy, but it didn't seem smart. I don't know what kind of hands he'd be leading, a lot of like, Jack X, fucking 8, 10, a lot of straight draws maybe. We fucking call. The river comes the king of diamonds and he bets 12.5K. We ask him a question, I say like, I thought we were friends because I had played last year a one table satellite with him and we had played together and I remember and I was like, oh, I thought we were friends, man. And he, and he said very nervously when he responded, like, we, we are friends. And, and like, I snap called like when he was nervous and he had Jack 8. Oh, this is a sick hand. Button opens to 3,500. We have king 10 of diamonds in the small blind. We three bet to 12K. The button calls. The flop comes ace, seven, four, heart, heart, diamond. It's been back to our flush or whatever. We bet 7,500. He calls. I'm like, fuck. The turn is a five of diamonds. It goes check, check. Ace, seven, four, five. Heart, heart, diamond, diamond. Turn goes check, check. The river, we bank a king. So we check with the intention of probably calling, but he checks back and we win. A big three bet pot, luck boxing it, he was tilted, fuck yeah. We came back to 129.5, we were tilted, and then we uh, made a hero call with ace high, it was super sick. And now we're in the zone back up to 175, and I'm very happy, calm after 40 minutes after dinner. Uh, then we call a couple three bets with like 10-9 suited and deuces and then have to fold, check full flop. We have uh, ace 10 of hearts from early position. We make it 3K, the big blind defends. Flop comes ace nine, four, all diamonds. We have ace 10 of hearts. He checks, we bet 2,500. He bet small, monotone boards, he calls. Turn is a queen of spades, check, check. River, jack of spades. And he bet 7,500. This is the same guy who I bluff caught before. And I called without really thinking about it, and he had ace nine, two pair. Yeah. I probably should not call that river, but whatever. Fuck your mom, we're good, great. Last level of day. We're happy to tread water for the day, which is what we're ending up doing. Maybe we'll make chips. All right, so last level of day two. We were a lot more tired uh, the last level of day one because we weren't used to using all our brain power. Luckily, we have a day off between two and three. 
So we're coming back, we have 85 bigs. Just stay focused, not take it lightly, because it's the end of the day. Try to pick up on who's just trying to get to the end of the day or not. I think we were playing well, considering how the cards have unfolded. Excuse me, sorry. So we come back with 177K, which is less than we started the day with, but still we're happy after the dinner break low of 130. I don't remember fucking hands. So I, like, I'm too brain fart at the last level, but basically, we got in a big flip where the guy had queens and we had ace-king. We want to win this flip. It's like 50K in chips. Our day is like depending on this whether we're gonna profit or be down on the day which would be emotionally damaging even though we'd still have chips but we run out the board and then the fucking river's a fucking ace let's go we cheer we ended him this is the same guy we hero called he has like five million in tournament earnings apparently then there were a bunch of other hands where we got a little spicy like we uh under gun plus two opens to 4k we have ace nine of spades in the low jack we three bet to 11k he calls the flop comes king four four with two spades so we have the nut flush draw on a paired board he checks we bet 5k he calls the turn is a queen of diamonds so it's a two-tone board king queen four four with two spades we have ace nine of spades goes check check and the river three of diamonds he checks and we bet 18k thinking this will fold out all his eights jacks ten, every, all that shit and he tank calls with fucking fives and I'm like, oh, gee, okay, I didn't need to put that back. That's all my profit. But then we have a, this ill hand multi-way, right? Now we're racked down to 197, whatever. We have King-10 off in early position. Before we look at our cards, a guy yells out, yo, yo, that card is marked. And I'm like, well, thanks, dick. Now the cheaters know that I have the marked card. But I look down at it, it's the King of Hearts. We have King-10 off suit. We raise to 4K, get three callers. This is that 1K, 2K big blind. Flop comes Jack, 8, 6, rainbow, whatever. It checks around. All four of us fucking dickheads check. The turn is a king. So we have top pair. The small blind leads into three other people, 7,500, which is pretty big. But we still call because we got a top pair. The next guy fucking folds, and the next guy calls. So we're through two callers. The river's a queen. I don't think we're good here at all, ever. So it's small blind checks. And now I'm like, what am I beating of these guys? I block the, the straight with a 10, but like, I, I'm debating turning my king into a bluff. But ultimately, I check. He checks behind. And I found out I'm good at showdown and fucking cheer because I never thought... I thought I was good at showdown with a king. This is the one that was marked. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think it's just somebody peeling. I don't know if it's like a proper mark. Three more hands. Left it for the end of day two. After an up and down journey, I don't want to jinx it, watch, but I'll reverse jinx it. After an up and down journey, we ended up bagging 500k somehow. They're all nervous. They're all shook because I only have like 240 right now. Let's see if I can do it in three hands. We all have jobs going on, which is very nice, other than poker. But like, we're all human, right? We're all not misreg fucks. This is good storyline too. And then a couple other hands. We raise, win, fuck, but raise, lose, all the shit. Two, two, 238 after fucking all the emotions of the swing up and down. 10 hours of play. We made Day three of the main event, I'm so fucking excited. I'm very hyped, day off tomorrow, and yeah, let's fucking go. This is bag time, we made it to the end of day two. Very happy with this, to go to day three of the main. I'm gonna miss these guys, I wish I could play with them the whole rest of the tournament, and that is an insult to them. That is isn't meant as an insult. We both were defeated at dinner, defeated. Yeah. And we both came back and came, we bagged more chips than we bagged day one. I would have been content with 250. I'm happy with life, you're happy with life. Yo, let's see it. Let's see a little one. Did you bag? Yeah. That's a fucking bag parkour. Let's go. Do it down one down the stairs. Rob a flip. <laughs> Yo, that was sick. No, no, that was sick. You just did it. No, you're gonna get hurt now. All right, that was sick. That first one was sick as fuck. Hit the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.